Hi, my name's Tony Bennett, the head coach of Bennett's Golf Learning Centre here at Kinta de Rear and Kinta de Sima. We have two golf courses here, two 18-hole golf courses. One at Kinta de Rear, which is down by the sea. And this one's a par 72. It's just over 6,000 metres long, and it's a beautiful golf course, spectacular views. Kinta de Sima, on the other hand, is a lot longer. It's around 6,540 metres, also par 72, and has held several major championships. To get to Kinta de Rear and Kinta de Sima complex, it's a simple matter of around 30 kilometres away from Faro Airport on the A22. When you get here, you'll, be fa you'll find a, a very nice clubhouse, nicely set, good restaurant facilities. Also, there's a pro shop there where you'll get all your golfing requisites. In terms of the teaching facilities and the academy facilities, we have a superb driving range around 300 metres long with two tees on the north and on the south. You'll also find that you've got two very, very good putting greens and short game areas, along with a six-hole academy golf course. So the teaching facilities here are extremely good. Both golf courses are extremely good and they were designed by Rocky Rockmore. Um, Kinta de Rear was opened in March 2002 and Kinta de Sima was opened in July 2002. And both golf courses are in extremely good condition. We have around 70 green staff that look after this facility. Okay, so now I'm going to let you have a little look at the golf course, a little look at the clubhouse. We're going to go and play one hole on Kinta de Rear, one hole on Kinta de Sima, and I'm looking forward to seeing you down here in the Kinta de Rear complex. The first thing that will strike you about this stunning golf complex is the immaculate condition of the venue. Arrive early enough at the club, and at sunrise you will see the dedicated team of 70 green staff swarming the course preparing it for the day's play, cutting the greens and tees to give them an amazing strident hue against the dewfall of the fairways. Both courses are of elite standard and are regularly chosen to host prestigious local events and championships such as the PGA Seniors Tour recently held at Quinta de Sima. Built within a conservation area, the courses wind their way along the coast and amongst the orange groves in perfect harmony with nature. You will enjoy your round in these surroundings where there's hardly a building in sight to spoil the views. The courses are located close to the sea and many of the holes have views over the beach. These Argave beaches, unlike many of those further west, are usually deserted and give the complex a feeling of real space and serenity. The Quinta Daria, Quinta da Sima complex is situated close to a number of towns where you will find suitable accommodation options but there are plans for a 400-bed hotel on site, completed in 2008. This will mean you will be able to enjoy all the pampering of a top hotel and first-class golf courses, without the need for transport or transfers. This will surely increase the popularity of this superb venue. Your choice, of course, is made easy, as the two 18s are quite different. Quinta Daria is the coastal course, which is shorter, but not without its challenges, offering great views of the Atlantic Ocean. It is the easier of the two courses. Quinta da Sima is slightly further inland and is longer and more testing. This course is viewed as the main championship course and despite being a sterner test of golf, the course is still visually stunning. It would be a shame to come to this part of the Eastern Algarve and not leave yourself time to play both courses. This is the 12th hole at Quinta de Rio, and as you'll be able to see, this is a short par 4, it's only around 315 metres. Normally, the wind comes off the left, it comes from the sea, uh, but today we're quite fortunate, there's not very much wind, it's very, very light breeze, and so we should be okay. You'll be able to notice up there in the middle, we've got a tree, an olive tree there gets right in the way for your second shot, so clearly the idea is to try and get it up the right hand side somewhere, just short of those cross bunkers that you'll be able to see. Once we've got it over there, then it should be a pretty straightforward pitch in. So today, I've decided to take a driver from this tee and try and get it up almost level with the tree, but a little bit to the right. Right, 
right, second shot here into this green, it's particularly awkward to try and get the ball close to the flag. The green's pretty undulating from right to left and from back to front. And so the goal here is to try and leave the ball below the level of the hole to leave yourself an uphill putt. Today I've got around 75 metres, so I've selected my wedge, the flag's in the back and uh, on the left hand side. So I'm going to try and get the ball all the way back up there and if I can get it within 10 feet or so, I'll be very happy. Well, I didn't leave it below the hole. I've got a slightly downhill left to right put here, but the good news is it's only about four feet. If you get on the wrong side of the hole here of any distance, it's very difficult to try and get the distance correct. And so you may well find that a three put is, is very much on the cards. But today, it should be okay. Four feet downhill left to right. Let me see if I can make it. Here we are on 16, par 5, Quinta de Sima, 517 metres. And this is a really good hole to try and make a birdie, but it could really be a card wrecker at this particular time in the round. There's no real prevailing wind here, although today we do have a little bit of breeze against, so it's going to make reaching the green in two shots pretty difficult. You'll see in front that there's two bunkers, one on either side, one on the right, one on the left. And if you can position your ball in between those two bunkers on the fairway, it'll give you a good opportunity to try and reach the green in two. Now here we are, playing the second shot. Now I've got myself a dilemma, because I really do need to hit a very long second shot with a three wood to try and reach the green, or alternatively I could take a more conservative strategy, play an iron, and then probably a full wedge, or maybe even a nine iron into the green for my third shot. But seeing it's today, I think I can reach it, and I'm gonna have a go with my three wood. You'll see all the way down the left hand side, we've got some protection bunkers, but on the right hand side that's where the major danger is with the lake. The slope of the land also takes the ball towards the lake so you really do need to aim a little to the left and if you have the ability to be able to fade the ball this is a pretty good time to use it. Okay, just came up short, probably about 20 metres, 15 metres short of the green. And so I've got myself a pretty straightforward pitch here, but I really would like to try and leave this ball slightly to the right of the flag. If I can play this shot well, try and get it close. If not, I would like to leave it slightly to the right of the flag. Here I am facing my left to right curler. This is not one that you'd want for the faint hearted. 
and so I'm going to have to make sure that I hit this one just at the right speed and get exactly the right line. If this misses the hole, this could easily go four or five feet past. Great, made it. 